if you are in rural Siberia, you don't have access to Twitter or all sorts of other things. You have the school you go to, you have other people, and you have the sense that people are attacking us. And then you have a very efficient uh, security apparatus in the Russian system. And again, this predates the uh, communists even. The czars, Czechists, his secret police were very good. So you have this system where the centralized authority tends to have power in most areas. And your sense of uh, everyone's attacking us. And at that point, you're not going to throw much of an insurrection unless you're absolutely desperate and you'll do what you're told because you want to survive. I mean, you look at uh, what they're saying, and, and this, I believe, where they're promising people money or cars or so forth. For my life or yours, that may seem like not a great deal. But when you're the average Russian male and you only live to be 60 some years old, the fact that you're in your mid 40s and it's a chance to supply your family for years and years, okay, you're not going to say no when they point a gun to your head and they say, we'll give your family 5,000 bucks. 